Hello everybody! I'm here to share this quick video on using a 100s chart. We've used this in school a lot just to help us learn how to count either by 1s, by 5s, and by 10s. Um, but it's also important to know how to use it so that you can read it and be able to use it to solve math problems. Alright? So, when you're using a 100s chart, you want to start at the top corner where you'll find the number 1. And you just want to count like this. 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we counted to ten. Uh-oh, there's not a number here. It's not like a number line where it just doesn't keep going and going and going. I have to go down to the next row and start counting from there. Now, eleven always comes after ten, so I know I'm in the right place. All right, let's count. Eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh-oh, still not another number here. What am I going to do? Down to the next row. I know that 21 comes after 20. Start counting again. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, we counted all the way to 30. We're not going to do all the way to 100 because that would take a long time. But that is how you count forward using a 100s chart. All right, next thing I want to show you. Mm, there we go. Next thing I want to show you is how to find a number on 100s chart. All right, say I want to find the number 45. All right, so I know in my head, I'm trying to think of what a 45 looks like. Listen to the number, 45. Hmm, four and a five is 45. So I need to find where I see the fours. That's three, there's fours. All right, now I'm gonna keep going across until I find the number that I'm looking for. Four and a five, 45. There it is. All right, so it's circled on my 100 chart. Next thing I want to know is what's one more than 45 and what's one less than 45. All right, so here's 45. One more than 45, I have to hop forward one. 46. All right, I found one more than 45. Now I need to find one less than 45. Backwards. 44. Look at that. Now for those of you that are practicing 10 more, 10 less, uh, we are going to go up and down. So one, uh, 10 less than 45 is 35. 10 more than 45 is 55. And now I kind of have this cool little um, cross looking thing here to show me all of the numbers that surround the number 45. Let's try one more. All right, next number I want to find is the number 66. Now I want you to think in your head, what does a 66 look like? 66, see if you can find it. All right, for those of you who have found it, let's see if you're right. Those of you who are waiting for me, let's see how we find it. All right, 66 in your head. 66, that looks like a six and a six, 66. So I need to go down the column until I see where the sixes start. <gasps> there it is. But that doesn't say, that's not a six and a six, that's a six and a one. I need to keep going across the hundreds chart until I find six and a six. Hmm, <gasps> I think I found it. There's a six and a six that says 66. All right, next thing I need to do is I need to find one more than 66 and one less than 66. So here's my 66. I'm gonna do more first. One more than 66, I move across one. Oh, that's 67. 
Now I need to find one less than 66. That means I need to move back. One less than 66 is 65. All right. For those of you who are practicing 10 more, 10 less, let's do more first. Here's 66. I need to know 10 more than 66. I go down. 76. Now I need to know 1 less than 66, or 10 less than 66. 56. All right, so now I have that cool little cross thing looking there, and I know all of the numbers surrounding 66. All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you. You can revisit it as many times as you need to. We'll be practicing one more than a number, one less than a number, and some of you are practicing 10 more than a number and 10 less than a number. All right. Okie doke. Bye, everyone.